just glad we have each other still. There's an overwhelming sense of gratitude in this Billings, Montana hospital room tonight. I'm glad all four of us walked off that mountain. On Saturday, Brady Lowry of Cedar City and three of his wrestling teammates from Northwest College were antler hunting near Cody, Wyoming, when two of them were suddenly attacked by a grizzly bear. Broke my arm. That was the first thing it got. It bit me on the arm and shook me around, threw me. Lowry says teammate Kendall Cummings began yelling at the bear, trying to get its attention. He then kicked it and pulled out its hair. The bear eventually chased after Cummings. Kind of tackled me and chewed me up a little bit and then... When it was done, it wandered off, and I started calling out for Brady to make sure he was all right. The bear circled back and attacked Cummings a second time. That's when it got my head and cheek. But eventually took off, leaving Lowry and Cummings badly injured. And we heard Kenny yell, and he came out of the trees where the bear was at, and he was just covered in blood. And he walked down to us, Gus ran up and helped him. And Rescue crews eventually reached the young men. Lowry and Cummings were flown to St. Vincent's Healthcare in Montana, where they were treated for broken bones and lacerations. Tonight, their families are thankful. Save my son's life. Not only for how these young men reacted to the attack, but the support they've seen after. When I showed up here, that whole wrestling team was here. Sat with these guys for two days solid. That young man over there, Kendall, is the hero. It was a horrifying situation for these young wrestlers. It was a big bear. Looked scary. Mean. Deep. Teeth. Drooling. <laughs> breath stink. But tonight, they're on the road to recovery, and their bond is stronger than ever. I don't think anyone else lesser than a wrestling team with the bond we have. They wouldn't have handled it as well as we did. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.